Welcome back, everybody. Where I'm trying to download a game, and um, it's not, it's not doing it, Paul. Yeah, no, I'm saying the same thing. I click install, and it just, just sits there. Well, Any, anyone's you know ever Brad, there's other stuff going on in the world. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we just sit here and watch me try to do this for an hour, and uh, people think can write in and say, Brad, how come you always have problems with Xbox and so Microsoft I'd like- stuff? I'd like to announce to the world that this morning when I got up, I pinged Mahedi and Brad, and I said, so what did you Apple-loving goons buy last night? Mahedi told us that he didn't buy anything, and Brad was silent for about two and a half hours. So I finally, I pinged Brad privately, and I said, Brad, you've been awfully quiet today. What have you done? And he said, I can't quote because your video's on top of the chat, but roughly approximating was, you can wait with the rest of the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you can wait until this dot starts to work, and then I'll tell you. Oh my God. Um, Brad, so, what have you done, if <clears> anything? <throat> <clears throat> um, so I ordered nothing. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Nothing. Um, wait, wait. That, that's no. Sorry, that's not actually one of the possible answers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I. I it, I had like I don't know I I was I woke up at three a.m. and I sat in front of my computer, mm-hmm. looking at the stupid phone, mm-hmm. and was like you know I can just wait. You finally realized buying things isn't what's going to make you happy. Yeah, I mean it was the alcohol that I was drinking um, sure. prior to that because I, I do want to keep in mind, folks, that I was up until about uh, midnight watching the Bengals go. Uh, they are the first team in the NFL to go two and zero. They are two and zero right now. Um, they almost gave it up last night, but they are 2-0. And, oh. and um, that's a small sense of pride in Cincinnati because we don't get to say that very often. Um, but anyway, so I'm sitting there and I'm like, mm, I, it, what I almost bought, but it wasn't any cheaper. I almost just bought an iPhone X. If that if that phone, Verizon's still selling it for the audacious price of $1,000 because what's the point? Because Verizon and it's terrible. Mm-hmm. And so I just... I mean, I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I mean, it will probably hit the refurbished store sometime, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I gotta go it's to a great way to buy phones. Expert settings here. Turn this down a little bit and make me a little brighter. I don't know. I, it just, um, I just kind of sat there and was like, gosh, I, do I really want to spend 1500 bucks today? And I said, no, I don't. And um, I, I, I was making a bold bet here, Paul, and, and here's what my bet was. Mm-hmm was that they weren't going to sell out of these things nearly as quickly as they did with the old version. How, how did that work out, Brad? I, um, have you looked the, yeah. today to see ha, what the lead time is? Have that? you have you logged into Verizon and uh, tried to order an iPhone XS in any no, color? No, I'm not and, a Verizon customer, but I am aware of the fact that if you go to Apple and you try to buy this thing from them, it's already out into October somewhere. Now, let me... <clears throat> let, me, um, let, me let me... Let me take a look at Verizon.com, Paul, Mr. Paul Threat. Okay. Verizon.com. While you're doing that, I will bring up. And you can yeah. as well. You can you can play along at home if you'd like, folks. Sure. Um, let's see, Paul. So silver and uh, let's see any configuration. Oh, oh whoa, Inter- interesting. Interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. The 64 and 256 will still ship next Friday. The really? 512 is pushed out into October, October 10th. Actually, I just look. So I'm sorry. I, I saw this headline on, online and I assumed it was true. But if you want the silver one, every configuration is available for delivery on September 21st right now. Yep. Huh. Um, gold. Shall we do gold? Gold is probably sold out. Nope. Gold is the exact same. Except oh my God. exact How same. How could that be true? How could that be true? Space gray. Let's do space gray. The gold one's the nice one. Also, September 21st for all models. Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> I mean, is that, is, could that be right? It's what Verizon's website is telling me right now. If I pre-order this thing, it'll arrive next week. Well, uh, I mean, I'm literally saying it, I'm seeing it, sorry, um, on apple.com for every configuration, for every color. I did type in a delivery location and one version of the excess i think this might be the black what do you call the mm-hmm. black one whatever it's called uh is not available for pickup but the other two are and that means from the local apple store hmm hmm 
Why would that be? I wonder if, yeah. Yeah, pickup is unavailable for the gold for all of them, actually. But I can get it delivered that day. So what I'm going to do here, Mr. Threat, is uh, I'm just going to wait. I, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to go see these colors in person. And um, Yeah. I don't know. I, can you go to an Apple store today and see these? I have I no think, idea. I bet you can. Does anybody know in the chat room? That seems like a a thing that could be a thing. Hello, Apple. I'd like to spend $1,150 yeah. $1, today. What do you got? <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe you can. But the other thing, too, was I was looking at my iPhone 7. It's like, you know, it's just fine. Uh, I don't, you're not supposed to be satisfied with what you already have. You're an American. <laughs> uh, do you hate America? <laughs> what is happening? I, now, I, I say this with a full caveat. I know that at some point here I will buy a phone. It's just I don't feel I didn't feel the I didn't feel the the, the tingling down in my stomach, Paul. That said, hey, I have to buy this and have it shipped so, Paul throughout and then escorted across the the country to ignite. I think I know what's really happening here. I'm and, pregnant. Um, I'll, <laughs> no, um, <laughs> that did sidetrack my mind. Hold on. Uh, yes, it's, it's that. Um, what you're really holding out for is the Pixel Three XL. Well, if it came with <laughs> iMessage and. and um, Watch configuration, it's... Um, sure. You can't use Apple Watch with Android, I don't even... Yeah, no. I also yeah. can't use my Xbox One X to download Call of Duty. What is going on? I know, it won't do it. It's not doing it here either. I don't know what's going on. It's it's upsetting. Now that I know this is a possibility, I must have this now. Yeah. To those Unless who don't care about it. content inappropriate for children. I love that. Yeah, I wonder why they're letting you download it. <laughs> you own this product. I would like to install it. Can I do it online? What What happens if you try it online? Can't you search Xbox games online? Yep. Yep. You can go to probably xbox.com and do that. What's this thing called? Blackout to private beta. I don't even know where you search this. Let's go to xbox.com. Okay, Blackout okay. beta. That comes right up. <clears throat> it's rated three stars. Install on my devices. Try that again. Something happened. Oh, here it goes. I found it. Install now. Thank you. We Try again. Something happened. Oh, there yeah, we go. Give it a second. Give it a second. Uh, I Have I ever successfully done this? <laughs> I don't even, I'm I don't not know. even We're about sure. We're about to find out. I just hit... Thank you. We're attempting to install on your select devices. Yeah, I got the same. Uh, now, to be clear, it is absolutely not installing on my device, but um, I'll give it. I'll give it some time. So, okay, um, back to the Apple baloney. Um, you not buying the phone is at least somewhat understandable. Plus, there's always this XR fallback thing. You may end up getting that instead. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Um, but what about the watch? The watch seemed like kind of a slam dunk. Yeah, I, I, to, uh, again, well, the bigger decision with the watch here is I want to see it in person. I want to see that gold color. Um, oh, knowing so that's that, the version you want. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. I think it's going to look great. I, I, I really. I don't disagree, but be, if knowing that I'm probably going to keep this thing for probably three plus years, I'd like it to. Okay, so what you should do is call your local Apple store. I assume it's in Pittsburgh or something. And um, <laughs> actually, it's about two minutes from my house, Mister Threat. Just, just kidding, just kidding. Um, and see if they have these things uh, on display, so you can kind of, kind of go mm -hmm. and take a look at them. They might not. I don't. I don't know how Apple works, but it's worth it's worth doing because you know you could get that done quickly. Well, yeah, but I don't feel the need, Paul. I'm just gonna. Brad, once again, I have to ask you about your hatred of America and the values on which this country is built. Well, maybe maybe we could do it in Florida. We could take a little mm -hmm. trip that to would be, um, that would be fine because anything to take my mind off us being in Florida is a welcome diversion. Is there an Apple store in Ignite near Ignite? At Ignite, <laughs> there actually is one on the show floor. That would be amazing. <laughs> I actually typed in Apple Store Ignite on Google because I am mm -hmm. that smart instead of Apple Store. Sure, and now the FBI agents are coming to your house because they think you plan to burn it to the ground or something. Apple there are Store two, Orlando. There are two. Yes, there are. Huh. 
question is how close are they to the right. Right. convention and center? Map and possibly even imagine. Let's see directions from. Okay. <laughs> That's supposed to be fascinating for people. Uh, what's yeah, the name of the convention? Is- the Orange County something, is that it? Yeah, Orange County Convention Center. Dun, 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 While everyone's dun, doing that, I'm going to sit here and complain about this not working. Oh, Apples. oh, oh, something's, maybe. I got nope. nothing. Nope. Damn it. It said ready to install was spinning, and I was thinking, man, maybe. It's a 15 or 20 minute drive, depending on which one we choose. Hmm. Well, I think you can look online to see if they have stuff in stock. Well, they won't have it in stock. Um, well, actually, by then they will. Yeah, they have, by then. Uh, right, right. We could just skip the keynote day, too, because that's pointless anyways. And, um, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyways, I didn't even open OneNote, but um, what is going on? What else did I have in the show notes? Oh, Paul, yeah, do you know what? I, okay, go ahead. Sorry. Do you know what? I'm not super confident, but pretty highly confident. You know what's happening uh, September 21st? Well, your iPhone is arriving that you didn't order. That is also true. Um, no, uh, something else is happening? How dare no, I they? believe that's when they're going to sign off on Redstone 5. Oh, how'd you hear this? Uh, the little birdie that told me not to buy a phone. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so okay. keep your keep your eyes peeled for that one. And um, Paul, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. October is a pretty slow month, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the good news is, is that at least Samsung's announced a, a 4X event, which I assume is related something to that, what, that hand, heart, eye, and thing, 4H club, I assumed. Mm, probably not. I know, but 4X, 4H. Yeah, I'm confused by the Samsung thing. Um, this is not their usual pattern. You know, they're, they're, by this time, they should be done for the year. Um, so I don't know what this means. Another kind of phone. Uh, there was, there are rumors of this uh, foldable phone. I, I might, Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. I don't you know. know. I'm literally it's sending a, a picture. One. Picture to somebody who works on the Xbox team and says, hey, yeah. why won't this download? Because, you know, that's Fix not abusing this. my privileges. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me let me ask you. I'm gonna. This is from Ask Paul today, but I found this to be kind of interesting, and uh, it has a slight Therat.com element to it that you might be interested in, or have some comments on. Mm-hmm. Chris Hilton asked, uh, referring to the recent update to Chrome, that Google has disabled the autoplay of sound on videos. He says, this puzzles me on your site as I couldn't get sound to play on your video podcast, but when I browse to other sites like ZDNet, the sound plays, which is annoying because they seem to be getting around the setting that should be turning that off, right? That Mm -hmm. the video will auto play, but the, you know, the, um, the audio won't play. I've noticed this as well. Anyway, he says he has to enable... Yeah, I'm sorry. He has to enable audio by clicking in the tab. You know, you can see the little mute, muted thing. So as far as the Throt.com stuff goes, and this I think where you could particularly uh, know more about this than me, um, we don't autoplay video. I, I, I think we might have briefly when we were doing live stuff on the homepage, but as far as... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was through YouTube, though. Yeah, and we didn't go to a website. I mean, we don't... We've never done this thing where you open a web page, like a, an article, and there's a video at the top, and it plays. Right. Like, we've never done this. Correct. <clears throat> Even when there is a video at the top, we've never autoplayed it. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that was true because we should never do that, and that was my understanding. I can't explain why. <clears throat> sorry that uh, it's muted for him on our site and not on ZDNet, except for one thing. As it turns out, I did a little bit of research on this. If you are running Chrome, and you should do this now if you are, that if you click the little button next to the address bar that has like a, a lock on it on Throt.com, it's the site information button. Mm-hmm. And one of the things, oh, and I'm sorry, you have to be on a page that actually has content on it. One of the things that will come up <clears throat> is a sound option. And for me, on Throt.com, it's on the default setting, which is allowed default. Mm-hmm. And on ZDNet, it was on allowed. And, and Google actually has an algorithm they use to determine whether they think you will want video to autoplay with audio. Interesting. So, because I have, in fact, wa- in fact, watched videos on ZDNet against my will, it assumes that I want to watch those videos. 
but you can turn it off there. You can block it. So I tested this, you know, briefly. I'm not 100% sure this did it, but when I went to ZDNet, I blocked it. I loaded another page in another tab in the browser, and it, the, mm -hmm. the video still played, but there was no audio. And on Throttle, I was already on, you know, the default thing. So it, it, for my settings, it didn't have to make a change. But I thought that was kind of interesting. Were you aware that this was a thing in Chrome? Like I didn't really, I knew about autoplay, but I didn't realize there was this setting on like a per site basis. Um, was uh, you, you, what? <laughs> no, no, I actually didn't know that they were dynamically doing that. Um, which is actually somewhat interesting, but why we got flagged for that of anybody. Well, they're not flagged, we're not flagged for it globally. We're flagged for it on a user-by-user -user basis. Hmm. <clears throat> so if you log into Chrome, it's looking at your past activity to kind of see what you might have done, and it's making some determination. I can't explain why we would, I don't know if we were blocked or not. I don't know what his looks yeah. like. But like ZDNet for me, like I don't understand. Like I've turned off video so many times on ZDNet. I don't understand that not only do I hate this, but I want to antagonize them for this. Like the fact that it was still playing audio in the video is incredible to me. So I've hmm. turned it off now, and I, th I think it's fixed. It's really bright. Um, for a slight update here, which my Microsoft buddy says to do a full shutdown of your Xbox. Yeah, brother. Effectively clearing the cache, because that's what I want to oh, do. Oh, oh turning it off and turning it on. That was his expert opinion. Yeah, but you have to go to hold the Xbox button until the oh, yeah. Xbox shuts down, then wait 30 seconds to turn it back on. Um, I did the full shutdown, as you can see here, because it's doing the full... Yep, the intro video. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to just rename this episode to Troubleshooting Live with Brad and Paul. <laughs> right. <laughs> we might as well just install cameras in our houses and people can watch us watch TV or something. Uh, they could just watch my wife and I argue about what we're going to watch. Yeah, I actually, I mean, this is not, this is an exaggeration, but uh, jokingly, I, I, like some of the worst fights I've ever gotten in with my wife are those nights where we're just clicking around Netflix trying to find something. Yep. And it's like we've wasted more time doing that, I, you know, than I, we probably have spent watching actual movies. All right, so I've turned it off. I've turned it on. I didn't actually get that animation you just saw though it's because you didn't I, do the full shutdown so how do i do that so hit the hit the xbox button mm -hmm. go to settings and then go to power and then it's like shut down or restart and then yeah. you do i think it says full shutdown womp, womp, full womp. shutdown mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm just kidding okay <clears throat> sorry system where is it system what no where am i going if I have to walk you through this anymore, I'm going to please, would you, the Microsoft could you, could you please just Oh, power and startup. <laughs> no. I don't. Wait, sorry. Say this again because I'm not saying it. There's literally a, a, wait. a power. I think you go to power settings. Full shut down. I got it. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry. So even when you shut this thing down, it actually goes into some kind of power saving mode where it can, you know, eek updates yeah. or something. Okay. That's irritating. We're trying now. I'm completely washed out. As you can see the. I. I I don't believe this is going to work. I don't think it is either. But. Um, oh, I'm trying it. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, for sure. I'm also throwing a little salt over my shoulder as we as we do this. Uh, this is going to be a timeless episode for people. Well, if you uh, remotely triggered it, the first thing you should do is go to games and apps and see if it's did in your not queue. work. Okay. Yeah. Now, oh, this is this is just wonderful. Like, there's nothing like it's. Sure. Like, well, did that just come on? This is fascinating content yeah. for everybody. Yeah, this is. Um, I, I will tell you what what is fascinating content for people, Paul. Is uh, I don't think we're gonna have a show next Friday. Uh oh, why? Why? Is this related to the what's coming on? September 21st thing? No, no, no. This is related to um, I will be in the Magic oh, Kingdom. Right. Okay. I accept. I mean, you could do it by yourself. Nope. I think your earlier plan is the right way to go. <laughs> I think we need to stick with that plan. All right. Here's the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> Oh, 
I can only assume that there are so many people trying to get this beta today mm -hmm. that the Microsoft Store is just not working properly. Yeah. Maybe. Yep, I got nothing. Sorry. This is... Man, I was going to play this before I went and picked my kid up. and. Um... Sure. I could have played this all morning instead of working. I wish I had known about this earlier. Well, I'm experiment or experiencing the same. I know that doesn't help, but there it is. I got nothing. You got anything else for today, Paul, before I break my TV? Uh, no. I'm still a little surprised by your decision. I don't mean disappointed at all. I'm, I'm, I can I'm, feel a little disappointment in your voice. No, no. I, I, um, I, yeah. I honestly was very curious which iPhone you would get, but that statement assumes you are getting an iPhone. Yes, it does. And, um, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. I, I think Rich Woods ordered stuff and then he'll be down at Ignite. And I'm sure once I see his, I will start foaming at the mouth. And um, How is he going to fit in his bag with his seven laptops? <laughs> this is a valid question. So, All right. That does it for today, everybody. We will be back next week, Monday. Uh, obviously, we're headed to Ignite. At least I am on Friday of next week. So things are going to be a little bit chopped up. Uh, but um, if you're headed to Ignite, make sure to let us know. We're going to be doing a bunch of podcasting. And have yourselves a wonderful weekend. And hopefully we'll catch you on Monday after we've played a copious amount of Call of Duty Black Ops.